Hello, this is Aisha. We are doing practical revision of ICT IGCSE. Today, we will discuss about unit number 17, document production. Basically, it is divided into three parts. So, today we will discuss about the first part, that is format text and organized page layout. So, we will discuss here how to set the bulleted and number list, tabulation, line and paragraph spacing, add or remove page breaks or section breaks, widow and orphan concept, setting columns page and gutter margin setting, page size and orientation. So, let us start it one by one. First of all, what is page orientation? It is basically the way you position your page. So, the default orientation is portrait. In the portrait, the top is narrow width. Okay? And uh, you can change it to landscape also. So, what is the difference? Wider width across the top. Let us see how we can change the page size and page orientation this is my document file. So, you can change the page size and page orientation from the page layout tab. This is your page layout tab. Either you can open the page setup dialog box or you can directly do it from here. From orientation, you have these two options portrait and landscape. So, default is portrait. Let us change it to landscape. Look at the difference. The top is wider now. Okay, Top is wider now. If you again convert back to the uh, sorry orientation convert back to the portrait the top is narrow now. So, that is the difference between portrait and landscape orientation. How you can page uh, change the page size? You can click over here page size. These are the different sizes available. Uh, it might be available in the inches or the centimeters depending upon the software you are using. Okay? So, suppose this is letter right now. A legal size is 8.5 inch to 14. If you want A4 size, exact envelope size. So, these are the different options available. Okay, so, you can choose it from here. Suppose, I am doing it envelope 4.33 inch from the top and 8.66. So, this is now envelope size. Okay, Let us change it to this one. So, you can see the changing. So, over here I am doing it to normal letter size now or there is another way to change the page size. Click over here to get the page setup dialog box. From here, you can change the orientation, portrait and landscape and from the paper tab, you can change the paper size. These are the different options available for changing the paper size with the width and height. The next thing is setting page margins and gutter margins. So, what is basically the gutter margin? Uh, let me tell you about that first. Gutter margin is basically the extra margins created for the documents that need to be bound into a book format. Okay, if you are binding it into a book format, then you need a gutter margin also, so that the binding does not obscure the text. Let us see how we can do that. Suppose this is my text, go to page setup dialog box again, margins. These are your top, bottom, left, right, normal page margins, which you can change it from here also or from here also. Okay, And this is your gutter position. Suppose I want to make it in the book format select from here book fold book fold now see the difference from here in the preview see the difference over here if i change the gutter position right now it's 0 inch i'm just changing it to 0.4 inch 0.6 inch this one so other than the page margins this should be the extra for the folding okay click on okay look here now so when you will bind your book it will not obstruct your text so, in this way you can do this gutter margins and simply for the page margins you can uh, use these ruler bars also or you can do it from here normal narrow moderate or you can do you according to your own requirement by using the custom margin option. For example, I do not want 1 inch from the top side I want it only 0.5 inch I can do it by myself ok bottom 1 inch left 1 inch right 1 inch. So, you can do it according to your requirement look at the difference over here when I click ok see the top margin is now 0.5 inch. Next set the number of columns and the column width and spacing, spacing suppose you have the long text and you want to make it in the column format just like you see in the magazines and the newspaper select the text which you want to do it if you will not select it means you are applying to the whole document if you want to apply to the whole document then do not select that okay? otherwise select the text which you want to do it this one again in the page lay layout tab go to columns 
and from here you can select the text two column three columns or multiple columns so suppose i want to make it a three column select this one look here now the text is in the three column format you can increase or decrease the space between these between these columns how you can do that go here click on more columns if you want more than 3 you can type it by yourself 4 5 it's depending up, depend upon your requirement okay and spacing look here this is 0.5 in spacing between the columns i am reducing it 0.3 inch and i want to insert a line between these columns so what i will do click on line between click okay okay this is 0.3 inch and the line between the columns this text is in your column format now you can do it in two columns three columns five columns it's according to your requirement according to the page size i'm just doing it two columns look here it is in two columns now okay next thing is uh, add or remove page breaks or section breaks page breaks for example your page and over here you want to insert a page break or one topic is end, adding over there so you want to insert a page break over here or section break suppose here is the end of my first section this is my next section so how i can do that again in the page layout tab click on breaks these are the different options available you want to insert a page break and the next section should be on the next page or next section should remain on the same page just insert the page break over here you can choose this option okay suppose i am choosing this one this is not visible right now so how you can see that click on home tab click on this icon to show now you can see here i have inserted a section break here i have inserted a section break so you can insert a section break mean if you have uh, completed your first section you can just add a section break or even you can insert a page break and how you are going to delete this one just simply select at, uh, click at the bot uh, starting and press the delete button from the keyboard okay i want to remove this section break also so click over here and press the delete button from the keyboard you can show or hide from here also clear next uh define widows and orphan concept basically sometimes if you write the paragraph there is uh, sometimes for example one line is here and the rest of the paragraph is here or your whole paragraph is here at the end of the page but one line is at the beginning of the next page so how you can change that one click on the paragraph dialog box click on line and page breaks this one if you will check this one widow and orphan control it will automatically set that okay sometimes if one line is at the next page and whole paragraph is at the previous page or sometimes one line is at the end of the first page and the rest of the paragraph is or at the end of the at the top of the next page so you can just check this one option check this option so that it control automatically widow and orphan this is the last line of the paragraph that spills over onto the top of the next page that is called widow and the first line of the paragraph that is left on the bottom of the previous page that is called orphan so this is your widow and orphan concept okay pagination is the numbering of pages in a document and tabulation we term uh, use this term it refers to how far to the left or the right text is indented okay let's see now we have done page section and column breaks and uh, widow and orphan concept okay indentation so how you can do that for example this is my paragraph i want to do it indentation means just giving an extra space from the normal text to this specific paragraph only mostly we do this with the quotations okay or some quotes or verses or something like this so mostly we do this with us how you can do that click on this paragraph tab and indent and spacing option okay paragraph tab indent and spacing option you can see the difference from here Le from the left side if i am going to change it see the preview the normal text is here here but this will be more than that 0.3 inch okay or for example only for the first line i am doing that 0.5 inch or 0.3 inch first line only click okay look here now normal text is here here on this margin but this one start this paragraph is started means we have giving more space 
that is indentation only for the first line. For the rest of the paragraph means uh, the next line and the rest of the paragraphs if you want to change that is known as hanging paragraph indentation. Okay? Hanging paragraph, a paragraph that begins its first line of the text a few spaces away from the left margin is indented and indentation of the second and the subsequent lines of a paragraph that is different from the first indentation of the paragraph is known as hanging paragraph. How you can do that? Again go to this uh, paragraph dialog box, click over here, hanging, select the option hanging from here, 0.3 inch or 0.4 inch and click ok. Look here now, this is your normal text, this line is indented, look at this one, this line is indented and look at this one, this is your hanging paragraph. Okay, next thing is uh, line spacing and paragraph spacing. How you can change the line spacing and paragraph spacing? For example, for this specific paragraph, I want to do more line spacing of that. You can even do it from here, from the paragraph. Okay, 1.0, 1.15, 1.3, 5, 2.0. You can see the preview over here, 3.0. Okay, or even you can go to paragraph dialog box to change the line spacing option. This part is for spacing before and after the paragraphs when you are going to insert the new paragraph okay? and this one is be, uh, between the lines within the same paragraph. I am just doing it 1.5 and click ok between the lines of a single paragraph. If you want to change the paragraph spacing you can do it from here. After it is 26.4 now right now I am just changing it to 12. 12.4 click ok look at this one so after the spacing is reduced now ok so you, in this way you can also do before the paragraph it's 2.14 i'm doing it 1.4 point click ok so before the paragraph it is 1.4 so line spacing is space between the lines within the paragraph and paragraph space is space between the two paragraphs space between the two paragraphs Okay, and the last thing is how you can format the text as a bulleted or number list. Bulleted list are used where the order of item does not matter. Number list are used mostly where the order of item does matter. Okay, how you can ch uh, use that one? I suppose I want to make a bulleted list over here. These are the options from the paragraph tab here. This is your bulleted list. This is your numbering list. You can select from the already available or you can define your own number format. Suppose I want to define my own bullet list, define new bullet, click over here. You want to insert a picture or a symbol, suppose I am selecting a picture, okay, cross, cross symbol. or tick symbol you can choose select according to your own requirements I have selected this one suppose you are doing pros and cons or do's and don'ts so you can use this symbol click ok ok look here now this is as a bulleted list if you insert a new line automatically this list will be continued ok if you insert a new line automatically that will be continued. So, even you can choose from the already variable options, these are the already variable options or you can choose from define your new bullet list. Okay. Similarly, I am just undoing that one. Similarly, for the number list you can choose from here 1, 2, 3 ABC or Roman or uh, small ABC or you can define your own. Okay. Suppose, I do not want 1, 2, 3, I want question 1, 2, 3. So, I can write over here Q U E S T. Okay. So automatically see at the preview quest one, question two, question three, or I can write full question one. Click OK. This is your question one. If you press the enter key, question two. Look here, question two, question one. Let's make another one. Question three. So in this way you can define your on numbering list. 
Okay, that is all for the first part that is format text and organized page layout. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. In the next video, we will discuss about the next part of this. Thank you very much for listening.